Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is in reference to some emails I've been getting on coins and what they would be worth or how do you find a price tag on them. Um, usually, I try to go through Graysheet if I have the accessibility. Recently, like today, I just signed up for Graysheet. So I have the app on my phone and I can do the Graysheet numbers. Usually when I'm streaming um, on my live auctions, I use gray sheet or if I'm doing like grab bags that are built by my um, my coin shop and I don't know what's in the grab bags, I will look up items. And I've been going to gray sheet late, lately. It used to be that I would use the scan from PCGS and NGC on my phone and then take 10 to 20% off. I like to see 20% for the people, the patrons on my channel, I like to see them have about 20% off of the scanned price at PCGS or NGC. But for instance, let me show you this one. A 78cc at a PCGS MS 63, it scans at 725. And that's a PCGS scan. It changed today, it was 750. Last time I scanned it, now it's 725. Gray sheet 696. I've been asking 580 for this CC Morgan. Now, this is a great number, but it's hard to find buyers at $580. That's a crap ton of money, and I get it. So flip side, my wife is probably going to end up with this. And if not, this price tag is probably going to go up at least $30, maybe $40, so that I can get into the $650 range, which is about 10% off of $725. So I don't know where we're going with that, but I'm just giving you the numbers. It's about what you think of the coin and what you want to pay for the coin, but there's plenty of information out there. Now, if you see PCGS that just has PCGS MS63, it was submitted and it went to the area of PCGS that does not do VAMs. So these guys that graded this coin are not necessarily um, knowledgeable about VAMs. So had it gone through the VAM shop at PCGS, it might have picked up a VAM. So always remember that if you see PCGS MS63 with no VAMs, look at the coin itself. Get in there deep. Check it out. Maybe it'll have an alligator eye. Maybe it'll have VAM, I don't know, 25 or, you know, it is what it is. You have to look at this stuff in order to find out what VAM it might be. You might find a huge VAM and then drive that number up another three or $400. So, this is one of the coins that I wanted you to look at. Scan PCGS 725. Gray Sheet has it at 696. Big Flip had it at 580. Price is going up. But I'm just letting you know um, these are the numbers that, that you should be looking at in reference to buying coins. If you see a number that you think is wrong, you need to get a hold of Gray Sheet. It's an easy app to download. This is a non paid advertisement for Gray Sheet. I do use gray sheet as much as I possibly can. 135 is the scan price um, through PCGS. 124 is the gray sheet, and I have it uh, for sale on my channel at 109. So I'm just letting you know 165, 124 gray sheet. I had it at 130, but that price is going to change because if you notice, 165 was a scan. I thought 130 was a great deal, but Gray Sheet has it at 124. So I'm going to change that number. Here's another one. Let's look at this one. This one is 135, 115. Gray Sheet, I added at 110. All right. This, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show you the first two original grades. Let's go back to this one. It's an 81S at an MS64. It scans at 135. 124 Gray Sheet, 109, my channel. Here's another one, 98O MS64. This one was the one that was a little off for me. 165 scan, 124 gray, and 130 is was my price soon to change on that one. Because it changes all the time. You never know. You just never know. So 92O and an XF45, one or two grades up on this one, and it would have been, you know, two or three hundred dollars more. 135 is a scan, 115 gray sheet. I was asking 110. That's probably going to drop down some. One last, oh, two, three, three more pieces. 1880S at an MS64. You can always type this in at PCGS on their website. 
PCGS, you only need the last seven digits. NGC is different. You have to do seven digits plus a dash plus whatever number it was during that grading in order to get. Oh, and then you also have to submit its grade, an MS-64 on NGC. This one, 135, 124, 110. So those last three were pretty consistent. This is an 83cc. We looked at that one. Um, did we look at this one? I don't remember. No, we haven't We haven't looked at this one. This one was the scans at 485, 436 gray sheet, and 395 was my price. That's probably where I would stay, um, is about the 395 mark maybe. Sometimes I'll say, hey, I'll give you 5 or $10 off on it during my stream. I stream Friday night and Saturday night at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. And so come on over and check it out if you want to. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you like these videos. And I'll see if I can't get more of these everyday question videos out there for you. This is an 81 SMS 64, $1. Scans 135, 124 gray sheet. I have it at 109. I would have probably taken $5 off and it would have been 104 from the gray sheet of 124. So if you can buy a coin at gray sheet prices, you're doing well. If you can get it under gray sheet prices, you're doing better yet. And if you can get 10 or 20% under gray sheet prices and be able to sell it at 10% under or even at gray sheet prices, then you're doing great. So I hope this video uh, helps you out in questions to what's going on. You can always subscribe to gray sheet and get the magazine um, brought in to your mailbox or you can have it put on your phone. I will do an up and coming um, stream on the gray sheet, what the dealers use. I am not a dealer. I am just like you and everybody else that is in this trade that doesn't run it for a business. I do stream on the weekends to make extra money and to um, be, you know, in the coin community. So um, you have to pay for gas, you have to pay for billing, you have to pay for a website, and that's why I do um, auctions on the weekend. So make sure you grab hold of your gray sheet. Try to stay away from the red book prices because they're not always the numbers you want. And then if you can, go 10 or 20% below gray sheet, and you'll be doing well on any coin that you have. Gray sheet's very easy to work with because if you... Let me tell you this. If you buy Gray Sheet for your phone as an application, it's $9 a month or it's $99 a year. So something to think about. But everything is in here, all the way from commemoratives, all the way down to large cents, Indian head cents, three cent nickels, three cent dimes, trimes. It's all here. So um, you have the seated, the Morgans. You have um, $1 gold, $5 gold, $2.5 gold. Um, it's all... If you can, get your hand. And if you go to a coin show, a fairly big one, usually Gray Sheet will be there. And you can find these magazines all around the facility at a big coin show. So remember to look for these Gray Sheets. And don't think they're just junk and walk by them. Because these are what everybody runs on, the Gray Sheets. So they also have $10 golds, $20 golds, commemorative, classic commemoratives, up to modern commemoratives, and then they have modern commemorative proof sets, gold eagles, everything's in here, any information you need, and it will give you a starting point. And if you can take 10 or 20% off of it, then more power to you. I hope this video helps. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll try to get out some more, you know, everyday knowledge videos out there um, that, you know, can help you in everyday uh, use in, in the coin community. So, uh, do something nice for somebody. Pay it forward every chance you get. Let's be good people. I'll see you on the next one. And please have a great day. Take care.